One of the best things about living in a ski town is getting out on the mountain at the crack of dawn before the lifts open. There's nothing like fresh tracks and untouched powder. It's as if the snow has the ability to glaze over any obstacles or dangers that lie in the way, allowing you to glide right over them, leaving you free to choose whichever path your heart desires. If only life could be so simple. Actually, life was going pretty well. The economy sucked, but I worked my ass off in college and had landed a major Wall Street job. My roommates and I graduated from Duke in May and were spending one final summer in North Carolina. They saw the economy as the perfect excuse for a season of ski bumming and partying out in Aspen, Colorado. They were leaving in the morning, and I have to admit, I was more than a little bit jealous. Unfortunately, real life was beckoning. Stafford? Federal and First America Bank. That brings your total owed as of now up to one hundred and seventy-nine thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. Of course, with a payment schedule of seven point eight two percent over twenty years, that will bring your total up to two hundred and forty, two hundred and fifty thousand. I owe a quarter of a million dollars. But it was cool. My first year bonus would handle a big chunk of it. I'd be able to pay off those loans in no time. Your new employer was just acquired in a merger, which means, of course, that your program and 600 jobs are gone. <laughs> no need to panic. I had a great resume. I had sacrificed in college. I did six internships. Let me guess. You think that you'll just go grab yourself another Wall Street job? Listen, Matt, they got guys out there right now with talent and experience just begging for jobs that they already know how to do. I w w wanna defer your loans. Okay, fine. Well, we'll just kick in another 40 grand and kiss your credit rating goodbye. <laughs> To get another job. Get a job. Come on, big shot. Think. Who is gonna hire Matt? Come on, give me something here. An uncle. An uncle? I have an uncle who has a company. He said if I ever need a job. Oh, great. Sign here. Slave to the man. My uncle ran a diamond exchange out of Buffalo, New York, buying and selling diamonds. Not exactly the glorious career path I had in mind, but it was a job. And potentially a lot of money. Buffalo, huh? Pretty neat. Yeah, I'll be right back. Why couldn't I be more like Tyler? Tyler could give a shit about the future. He was just happy to have graduated at all. After six years of college. That's Carter. Another one of my roommates. The womanizer. And Peter. The woman repeller. I couldn't believe these guys were moving to Aspen in the morning and leaving me to a life of frozen chicken wings. How you doing, Mama? This was their final farewell party. At least I had Justine. We'd only been dating a few weeks, but man, things were great. Finally, a real relationship. Matt, I don't know if you're having some kind of fantasy here, but uh, I'm not gonna follow you to Buffalo. My job is in New York City. And I can't commute from Buffalo. I mean, it's almost Canada. I thought we had something. Yeah, well, we did. I know. Stay warm. So this is what my life would come to. Buffalo. 
What the hell was I gonna do in Buffalo? Listen to me. Screw Buffalo, okay? My brother is gonna let us use his condo. We're gonna get low pay jobs for food. We are gonna ski. But if you can't, you can't. Come on, man, chug it. Stop being a cooch. Come on, come on, chug it, chug it, chug it, yeah! Woo! He's so gonna hurt tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Cardi, you get his legs. You get his top. Where are we? About halfway to Aspen. What? Yes. Well, why not? My uncle wasn't expecting me in Buffalo for two weeks, and I'd never been to Aspen. Good a time as any for a completely random, forced, unplanned adventure. going you just said to me yesterday you were gonna go look what's the point i'm moving to new york i have to you still got three days man just keep your options open what options i can't pass up this job come on dude you gotta come you gotta help me find ladies for this party tonight right maybe you'll find the red truck girl there <laughs> what red truck girl whoa, whoa, whoa. wait what are you doing could you please not put that stinky ass into my uh -huh. boxers how do you not know about Matt's ideal woman? She drives a red four-wheel drive with a ski rack and a dog in the passenger seat. <laughs> it all stood for something. Athletic, outdoorsy, caring, and compassionate. Do you know where that girl exists? The job fair? No, in a beer commercial, dude. But you know what? She might be at the job fair. So get dressed. Let's go. OK, I have to ask, why are you taking a condom to the job fair? You never know. What, if you're gonna get laid at a job fair? This is Aspen, okay? Oh, you better check the date on that thing. You know, they expire. Tell me about it. You know, I just threw away another 36 pack. Still got one box left, though. And this, this is Lucky Numero Uno. <laughs> the infamous Lucky Numero Uno. Question was, you ever make it to dose? Oh, God. Check out the talent here, man. Ooh. Here. Any flyers for the party? Yeah. Dude, you see Razor on them. Oh, you think that's too college? Hey. Pass them out. Hey, no, take a handful and pass I want to take a handful. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Yota. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Are you Matt? Yeah, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm desperate for some action. Will you please, please, please come to my party so I can get some? Oh. I, I didn't write that. That's really funny. Desperate man. Hey, I wish you luck. Andiamo. Voglio presentare qui, amici. That sucks, huh? You suck. Where are you going? You gotta sign in, man. Dude, 
the sun in, man. It's gonna hurt. Hey. Maybe I belong in Buffalo. Far away. Cold. Alone. Uh, hello. Ladies, this is Matt. Matt, Michelle, and Kirsten. Kirsten. Hey, the desperate man. I swear I did not write that. <laughs> yeah, sure you didn't. Well, shall we uh, move on? Uh. So what jobs did you girls apply for, huh? All of them. Didn't you? Yeah, pretty much. I want to teach kids skiing. Really? Why is that? Well, if you're good, you get the upper level kids. With adults, you gotta start at the bottom. Ah, so you'll change diapers all day, right? So, what do you want to do? I want to mountain host. I want to sit in the sun and point the way to restaurants all day. That's what I want to do. But I heard that the jobs are really competitive, so I guess we'll just see what happens. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna put in a good word for you, okay? You know what? Please don't, because I don't want to tarnish my application. Oh. <laughs> this is us. Ooh. Red truck. Dude, this is Faith talking to you. Faith? Silver. Honda. Faith. Peace, love, harmony, faith. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what time does this rage of yours start? Whenever the two of you get there. Around 10 o'clock. We'll be there. Please, please be there. Please. Love. Love. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Oh. I signed you in. I'm not staying. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're staying. You're staying. You know why we got you out here? Let's put the gas money. No, it was more like an uh, intervention. Yeah, you know one of those things you do when someone's on the verge of screwing up their lives? <sighs> Look, dude. You can't go to Buffalo. All right, not for that gig. <laughs> you're too young. You're kind of smart. Thanks. Why do you want to go to Buffalo and do a job you don't even want to do? I mean, it's Buffalo, man. Just, just say it once. Buffalo. Man, you took that gig because you were a total chicken shit. Oh, yeah, and I owe... Yeah, 250 grand in student loans. Yeah. So what? Future fear, baby. It sucks. Future fear. Fear of choosing the wrong future. Paralyzing if you think about it. No, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I have to go. I'm like burning this tuna thing. No, I do. Okay, you too. Yeah. Ow. You okay? Are you sure we're supposed to heat this thing to 425? Mm-hmm. Was that your mom? Yeah. Are they still trying to get you to move to New York? Of course. And? And what? I told you I'm here for the year. At least a year. You better be. Believe me, I'm just dreading moving to the city. We're throwing this out. Yeah. Johnny McGuire's? Definitely. Well, I can't help but think yeah. of you, even though it's not what I should do. It does me that way, it just makes me want to stay. Love is like a roller coaster. It's love is like a roller coaster, baby. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> I could personally mix you up a cocktail. Where's your roommate? Where is my roommate? Uh, it's downstairs. It's, it's kind of messy, though, but... No, no. no, where's your roommate? Matt. Matt? He's my roommate. See, he's my potential roommate. He's out back. But hey, 
Are we gonna dance? Maybe later. Who has me up one of those cocktails? Michelle, you want one? No, I think I'm just uh, gonna go out and grab a beer. Why don't you let Rico fix you up something real nice, beautiful, huh? Matt? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, just, uh, sitting here. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Wow, it's beautiful out here. Yeah. Look at the moon. Did you ever read that book, Moon, Mother Moon, when you were a kid? Uh, no. It's about how the moon gets its light from people's dreams. Each night it picks up a few more. And when it's full, if it has one of yours and you wish hard enough on it, the dream will come true. I'm sorry, that was really hokey, wasn't it? No, no, it was, uh... <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So, uh... Rico Suave tells me um, that you two are potential roommates. Oh, no. He did, he did not introduce himself like that, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, no. <laughs> What's his real name? Uh, Peter. Right. <laughs> so, um, you two are roommates? Uh, or you're not? I'm, I'm actually supposed to be moving to New York in three days. Oh. Yeah. Boys, Montezuma waits. What time is it? 7.30. 7.30. Give me another hour. Get your asses up, man. We gotta get on oh. the glacier before the snow starts to melt. Let's go! Any of you guys have a towel I can borrow? Morning. Morning? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Do you want to come... Keep me company? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> you guys just got yourself another 10. 20 minutes. It's down. <laughs> hey, Carter. Can you really last 20 minutes with a woman like that? <laughs> That's some serious points, huh? I, mean, I could last one. Two minutes tops. That would be like thinking about my grandmother. You're a sick kid, you know that? <sighs> you guys gotta slow down, Dad. I'm dying here. Hey, what about you, man? What happened with, uh, Michelle? Oh, you know, we, uh... We talk. <sighs> talk? Oh. Man down! Oh, God. Oh, come on, man. We're almost at the top. Oh. I'm done, man. You're gonna have to get a chopper for me from here. Woo! One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. They did not hike up here. Tyler, shut up. Nice climb, huh? It's beautiful. Yeah. You guys come up here a lot? Oh, about once a year. I was 40 or so. We, uh, we just moved into town. Yeah, you found a great place to live. Matt here's about to give all this up for a so-called real job. I don't even start, okay? All right? No, there's nothing wrong with a real job. As long as that's what you really want to do. Yeah, <laughs> want my ass. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. No, but seriously, there's, there's a lot of issues. Do you mind if I give you a simple piece of advice? What? These kids have come all the way to the top of the mountain, and here's an old guy. I've got to give him something. Right? <laughs> Bring it on. Well, it's not going to live up to its billing now. 
But I'd say there's one thing I've learned in 62 odd years is that there's only ever one answer, and that's to follow your heart. Yeah, right on, man. Y'all ready? Follow your heart. If only it were that easy. Checking back to me, right? Touch him. Tyler! Tyler, can you hear me? Tyler! Can you hear me? <laughs> Not you suck! Oh man, you guys took so long, my face is freezing. I was getting all excited about giving you mouth to mouth. <laughs> 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 so, so, I'm gonna stay. I'll stay, you guys, up for another roommate? You serious? Shut up. Completely. Yeah, boy! I felt great. Maybe it was that easy. Look, it is only for a year. Mom, I... Mom? Your uncle was offering you a major career offer. Mom, I realize that. Look, it's, it's only for a year, okay? Mom, would you... No, no, look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? Uh... Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. What, car troubles? Uh, yeah. Pop the hood. Come on. What? Pop the hood. Yep. Right. Definitely not the battery. Hey, maybe the wires are wet. Hey, give it some gas. No, it might be. Yeah, go ahead and try it. Uh huh. Yeah, it's probably the coil. You're not getting a spark. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You serious? <laughs> I took mechanics class with my dad when I was twelve. I'm from Iowa. <laughs> so um, we're gonna head over to the bakery and get some coffee. You wanna come? We could get you a new coil on the way back. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Can you watch him a second, please? Oh, oh. 
Trigger. Trigger. Sit. Hi. Sit, Trigger. Good boy. So, I think yes. I'm gonna go get that snowboard. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I'll catch you later, okay? See ya. Pastors right now. My parents are pretty pissed too. They just, I don't get it. You know, I think that their generation has this like upset view of what you're supposed to do after college, you know? Yeah, seriously, it's like start your career, get married, have kids, you know? It's probably why so many of them wound up divorced. More forth to just, I don't know, get married and find the right person. You yeah, want some more drama? I am perfect. Good, Thank you. Man. All right. It is dead in here, isn't it? It is so dead. You know, I can't wait to get out there on that mountain. Hey, I hear that they have like 28 inches up top already. And if they get 15 more, they're going to open early. Hey, Carter, can you give me a no hand? No problemo. Here? Excuse me, guys. Duty calls. Anything for you, sexy. He is so cute. <laughs> Let's put a happy little tree trunk right there. We'll give them a little friend. Trees get lonely. They need friends. Making happy little trees. Just a little bit of brown, white. Touch of the red. Touch of the red. Boy, it's so strong. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Now then, let's just take the knife. Hey, Ty. Si. Hey, man. Um, do you mind if we put a movie in? Oh, what movie did you get? Uh, Tyler, this is Michelle. Michelle, this is Tyler. Hi. This is Popsy. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, I... Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, you know, actually, I'm getting really tired, and I think I'm gonna go crash out, okay? So, uh... You guys, uh, have a good one, all right? <laughs> Bye. Okay. Paralysis. I was afraid to move. Hey. Hey. Whoa, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just. I didn't. I. I didn't. Uh, I. I. Oh. I, I, I have a boyfriend. Oh, Matt. 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 Sorry, I, uh, I didn't, <laughs> look, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking, I mean, I, I really like you, and not, not, not in a, 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 a like, like kind of way, it's more of a uh, platonic, like strictly friendship kind of, 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 of liking, I mean, is, does that, does that make, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Good, good, um, that's great. Um. Well, um, it's getting kind of late, I guess I, I should get going. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting late. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, <well. laughs> uh, you know, I mean... Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> 
I had fun today. Yeah, me too. Great. Great. The season had begun. The grading showed us the ropes, and we were all settling into our daily routines. Tyler got a job selling snowboards at d &E. Noon to five, the perfect hours. Carter was scanning tickets by day, and rushing off to work at the bakery to wait tables at night. Michelle had helped me land a job teaching kids with her at the Big Burn Bear Ski School. She also taught part-time at the elementary school, and, of course, continued to date her boyfriend, Tom. And by the way, hadn't lost his Wall Street job. I hadn't given up hope, though. We had the best times together. I love being with her. I even went out and found that Moon Mother Moon book. Vito, or King Ski as he liked to call himself, was working his way through the women of Aspen. Peter and Kirsten had both gotten mountain host jobs, only Peter's wasn't quite as glamorous as Kirsten's. Hey, garbage boy. Come here, I got something for you. What you got for me? You ready? Hit me, sister. <laughs> there you go. You suck, you know that? Hey, that's definitely points, by the way. You can't get points. Says who? Is that tight enough? Is that, is that hurt? No, we're going down the hill. Can we see the burn today, Matt? Yeah, yeah, the burn. I don't know. Maybe you guys are really good. Hey guys, you guys gonna rip it up today? Yeah! Do the Big Burn Bear song, Matt. Big Burn what? Come on, you know. Hey, is that how we ask hope? Please. What do you say, guys? You wanna do it? Yeah! yeah? Okay, all right, come on. Get her in. Get in here. King of the mountain, I'm king of the trees. I'm king of the snow, and I'm king of my skis. Give me a run, and I'll take with these, because I'm a big, big burn, burn bear, bear, and I never freak. All right. Good job. Oh, that was brilliant. I think you missed your calling. All right. Ciao, Bella. Come stai? Bene, too. Oh, molto Stop bene. Stop our skis, guys. Come on. Okay. There always had to be at least one asshole. That was work. It's good. Yeah. Help this lady carry her skis from her car this morning. She gave me 20 bucks. Nice. I was getting a good vibe from her, too. I almost asked her out to see if I could really give her 20 bucks worth. Would that work at like a buck a second? It's very funny. Oh, hey, uh, Michelle and Kirsten are having a sit-down dinner thing for the holidays. You up for it? Hanukkah dinner with the Shikses? Definitely. How's that going? I don't know. Boyfriend thing's kind of rough. He's got nothing. I think? Nothing, man. He lives 2,000 miles away. Hey, you know what? Why is this coming to work? Are they? Mm hmm They're playing Snowmass Center. <laughs> nice! Can he just get us tickets? Yeah, probably. I'll ask him. Should we ask the guys? You mean, uh, should we ask Matt? No, I didn't say that. What? What? Oh. <coughs> we're going to have to sit down with Campbell Miller. No, they're not going to know. Dude, your eyes are so red. Really? Is that better? Just don't say anything, all right?
You guys are so styling in this padded sick. Sick? Sick is good. <laughs> Cover the edges with foil you know, when you bake it so the crust doesn't burn. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe you're making a pie. You're such a little bitch. I'm sorry. I think it's a great idea. No woman can resist a man who bakes for her. Bakes. Well, she, uh, she supposedly loves pecan pie, so we'll see what happens. Things going any better with your folks? Oh, thank you, sweetie. Not really. I mean, I tried your whole follow your heart thing with them, but they just want to go for it. No? Oh. Uh, You're not following his heart. You're following his... Oh, shit! I'm sorry. Good cookies, though. No more herbal tea for you. Four letters. Lives life to its fullest. Lush. Mm. No, it's not lush. Oh, yeah. It's about children. Hey. Hey. That's the tree? Uh, yeah. I'm never going to fit in here. Sure it will. Y'all said you wanted a big one. Oh, Jesus, bro. See, I told you it's too big. Well, that's what they all tell me, but it's amazing what a little KY can do. <laughs> what? Fill in the gaps? <laughs> 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 that's some points. How'd the pie turn out? Oh, it's okay. It looks amazing. <sighs> so, first Christmas away from home. I like it. Beats the hell out of my family Christmas, that's for sure. Hey, Carter, can you pass that squirrel casserole to show how to head back out to the swamp? <laughs> Don't you get my moonshine, boy! I'm going to have to put you back in the shed with your mama! <laughs> He's All right, crazy. there's a brew here for you. <laughs> here. Uh -huh. I got a special surprise for each and every one of you. having dinner? Yeah. Great. I'm starving. You know, it took me 45 minutes to get a cab from the airport. There are like three in the whole town. <laughs> uh, um, hey, why don't, why don't you guys sit down? And uh, Tom, can I get you a beer? Yeah, it'd be great. Just a sec. You brought skis. Who's your sugar daddy? For me? Oh, but these are the exact ones I wanted. And pecan pie from Gamari, your favorite. Wow. Um, you know, I, I need to go check on the turkey. So, um, Kirsten, could you introduce Tom to the guys while? Uh, sure. Okay. Tom? <clears throat> Um, guys, this is Tom. What's up, gentlemen? Tom Dutton. Carter. Matt. Do so you guys play the market at all? All the time, bro. Just grassy, a senorita. And <laughs> <De> nada. <laughs> Here we go. 
Oh, good cool deal. Nice. Thanks. That is a freak of nature. Proof of God. What's up, boys? Hey. Check out what I got. Bam! Sneaker ball tickets. Whoa, how'd you score those? Uh, some kid in my ski school's parents gave them to me. Nice, I hear that party's supposed to be sick. You know, you should take this thing. Becca. The waitress. Hey. Man, she would never go out with me. You're a stunt ski instructor. That, that, that's top of the food chain here. No, I'm a kid's ski instructor. You're still a ski instructor. You better be taking Michelle. What, are you kidding? She's got a boyfriend. So what? The guy's a tool. He gave her an $800 ski setup for Christmas. He can't compete with that. He's a tool, though. I mean, he's, he's a total tool. Matt, all I'm saying is that you are a stud ski instructor. You could take any hottie you wanted to to that sneaker ball. You could bag a major hottie. Don't nod. You're taking advice from a guy who hasn't seen action since his bar mitzvah? I've seen action. Yeah, I've seen the handprints in the Crisco. <laughs> now, like, if you don't take Michelle to this thing, I'm going to personally kick your ass. <laughs> of course I was going to ask Michelle. Hey, Tom, uh, <laughs> thought you left. Michelle's gonna give me a ride to the airport after a class. What brings you down here? Oh, nothing. How long have you had a thing for her? I'm sorry? Michelle? Oh, wait, come on. I saw you at the Christmas dinner. You were looking at her. But just so you know, I'm planning a life for her. Yeah, the house, kids, whole works. What can you offer her? What? Except maybe, you know, like a, a roll in the snow. Just think about that. <laughs> Tom was right. What did I have to offer Michelle? Quarter million dollars debt in a bus pass. Hey, Matt. You heading home? Red truck girl. You want a lift? Sure. Are you, you going towards the islands? I can. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got it? All right. Friday night. Nothing. Why? Becca. Oh. Sir, Becca. Why? I want to see Becca. Probably because the person that he wants to take has a boyfriend. Oh. So you really think we could just sneak in the back? Yeah. What do you think? Too much? So hot. I still don't get it. Becca? Well, she is single. I'm not engaged. Tom and I are just dating. Fine. But if you don't want to be dating Tom, then don't be dating Tom. Didn't you guys have a fight anyway? We had a discussion about me moving to New York again. So you really think Matt would have asked me? Michelle, the guy can't even speak when he's around you. The Aspen Sneaker Ball with Becca, the red truck supermodel. Who needed a Wall Street job? Tonight was going to be perfect. This is nice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This place supposed to be oozing with money. Yeah, I guess. Mind if I go mingle for a sec? I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. Well, at least the vodka is free flowing.
there she wasn't. Man, I need to take you to somebody. Hey, guys. Hello, Becca. Becca, this is, this is Michelle and this is Tito. It's Vito. Oh, sorry, Vito. Vito. Vito, hey, Vito. Hi, and you're the other side. Abe Vito, Abe Vito. Lydia, tell me the Hey, did you just call me an idiot? Matt, come on, let it go. What did you say to him? Matt, just let it go. You know, did your parents intentionally breed you to be an asshole? Go! Vito, per favore, andiamo! Lascia lo stare, per favore. Hey, you, you know what? At least make sure he wears a condom. The guy brings a new whore home every night. Andiamo. Fuck, I'm, I'm sorry, I... Come, I'm... I'm Sorry. I thought I'd reached the ultimate low. I was wrong. Appropriate that the only thing I wound up kissing that night was cold and porcelain. Should I get him some coffee? No, no, don't do that. Then he'll be obnoxious and wide awake. You got aspirin in there? Yeah. I got some stuff for cramps. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Oh. He had a shot, you know? I think he had several shots. No, I mean with Michelle. Really? Keyword being had. Yep. I think your window of opportunity is pretty much closed. Window of opportunity. <laughs> you know, maybe one of these days I would actually see that window closing before it crushed my head in. What the hell, dude? Oh shit, I'm sorry. What's on your face? Oh, no. I was so gone. Did, did you just see something off your face? Mom? Mom, is that you? So what happened to the other guy? I think he skinned his fist on my jaw. <laughs> oh, it's so royally screwed up tonight, man. You have no idea. What are you doing? Finding a job. Is, is this gonna bother you? Doubtful, dude. Oh. It's all Your shots after a night of puking. Now that's desperation. Oh, I'm in deep shit. What up? How are you? Thank you. I shouldn't even be sitting with you. What were you thinking? What's up, sexy? Whoa! <laughs> You like that, right? Not really. Oh. Well, well, Bootsy likes it. Bootsy? Yeah. Bootsy. Uh, Bootsy. Oh, man, she wants it. Man, let's just be cool. Talk less, listen more. Talk less, listen more. That's it. Talk less, listen more. Got it. Talk less, listen more. Uh -huh. Go get him, stud. Talk less, listen more. Yeah. Working. The guy never gets laid, does he? <laughs> never. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. Oh, let's hope so. Yeah, you go, Rico! He thinks it's gum. What? Nice. No way. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
Chocolate, you see that? How am I gonna drink that? Hey, hey, Paul, oh, here, here it is. Seattle, Washington established progressive marketing agency seeking a motivated, educated, outside the box thinker. Oh, what, dude? You're at least one of those things. Uh, deadline was like two days ago. Seattle, yeah, Washington, please. For an S. Spiller. Uh, yeah, hi, Miss Biller. Hello, uh, this is Matt Raymond. I'm calling about the marketing position. I know the deadline was... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake... Miss Spiller, hey, Matt Raymond again. Sorry we got cut off like that. You might as well, dude. I mean, you already woke her up. Uh, Miss Biller, hey, Matt Raymond here again. Look, I know this is getting really annoying, but you gotta believe me. If I'm pissing you off this much and I still think that I can get this job, then there's gotta be something you can see in me. Look, I just want a shot. I'll be there. Oh. Bye. The more I thought about it, the more the Seattle job seemed to be exactly what I was looking for. A challenging opportunity and a great location. I'd researched the company and I was ready. We'll see you on Monday then? Yeah. yeah. All right, welcome aboard. Matt. Hey. Hi, Stephanie. Matt. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You know what, your resume looks really good, but I gotta be honest, we're already pretty keen on another applicant. The guy in front of me. Yeah. He's got a relative who's an investor. I hope you understand that. Well, okay. I read you're close to signing Ameritrex Industries. Um, yeah, we're hoping. Why? You probably know this, but one of their subsidiaries is on the verge of a huge liability payout, and it could be a nightmare for their company, and you, I guess. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I did my, uh thesis on crisis management. So if you have a couple minutes, maybe we could sit down and kick around some ideas. I have a few minutes. That's it. I wasn't sure how the interview went. It was funny. All I could think about was getting back to Aspen. 
getting back to Michelle. Hello? Hey! Mound doesn't open for another hour. Quarter! Oh, hey, man. Hang on. Hold that thought. <laughs> So you looking for some freshies? Yeah. What do you got going on in there, huh? <sighs> major, major points. You are a god. I know. Here, yeah, I should tell you. What's that? Michelle headed out about five minutes ago. She did? It was the perfect day for fresh tracks. Crystal clear with a foot of powder. It was an hour never. What are you doing here? Shock man, I say I was drunk. I was, I was a loser. I was pathetic. I was a pathetic loser. I'm sorry. I miss hanging out with you. You know, I, I miss just, just being with you. Can I please take a run with you? Please. I'll do the Big Burn Bear song. You're an asshole, you know that? That's what my mom keeps telling me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Every once in a while, things seem to fall into place. Your path is clear. Life feels good. Here on spring break. Yeah, Wendy's sister lives here, so we've been crashing at her place. Oh, cool. Uh, well, um, can we buy y'all some some drinks? Well, you can buy all us all some drinks. Mm -hmm. Kerr, you know these guys? Yeah. You can say that. This isn't your sister, is it? I said, why don't you buy us some drinks? <laughs> this is Rico. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> totally. Come on, Michelle, save me a boot. All right, excuse me. You guys never get laid. Nope. Oh, 
Okay. So tomorrow night, you guys, buttermilk. Cabin hike. We're doing it. We checked the weather. It's supposed to be completely clear for the next three nights. I'm in. Definitely. Yeah. You. My hands are freezing. I'm freezing my sack yeah. off here, Let me see him. <laughs> You want me to blow on it? <laughs> Just keep your condom in your pants, okay? <laughs> I can't stay long. I have Whoa. early, early shifts. Kirsten, don't you worry about a thing. Oh. Yeah, one arm at a time. Okay. There you go. Thanks for driving. Sure. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just a little tipsy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Bed. How you doing? Okay. How you doing? Good. You are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I just need some some water or something. So I broke up with Tom. You... Whoa. You did. I'm sorry to hear that. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not. on this couch all night. Hey, who's that guy? I don't know, dude, but he smells like ass. You see when I woke up? It's probably a friend of Carter's. As you, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I have to get to work. Okay. Hey, listen, can you drop me into town? I'm supposed to meet this guy uh, that I work with for coffee. Yeah. Great. Who's Sergey? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did he uh, ask you out for coffee? <laughs> yeah. So what's your deal? Oh, come on. You should tell him. Mm -hmm. Tell me what? Nothing, dude. What? Forget it. Forget it. He's gay, dude. You suck, man. What, he's gay? Who are you? He's not gay. Is he gay? He's gay, man. I mean, if he asked you out the coffee, that's, that's like a date. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, look, man. One of you guys has to go with me. <laughs> look at you, dude. You're such a homophobe. I'm not a homophobe. I just don't want to go out on a date with a guy. Just blow it off, man. Well, I can't blow it off. He's a nice guy. Uh, come on, Matt. You're coming with me. No, uh uh. Come on, man. Look. I'll buy you a latte. How old is this juice, man? A jumbo extra vanilla latte? Fine. Whatever. 
All right, so I just got to shower first. Thanks. You gonna walk me out first? Yeah. I'll walk you out. Dude, who are you? Vogel. Now keep walking, Vogel. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See ya. I think it'll clear up enough for tonight. I oh, know, I hope so. We could always go tomorrow instead. Oh, if, uh, if, if it doesn't, do you maybe want to rent a movie or something? Are you asking me on a date? <laughs> Should I be asking you out on a date? I don't know. I'll see you tonight. How are you? Uh, um, who's this? Uh, this is this is my friend Matt. Friend? Uh, yeah, yeah, friend. Good. Hi. <laughs> Listen, uh, Sergey, I, I I really appreciate you inviting me to coffee and all. Um, you? I, I, I like women. What? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like women. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. Listen, Sergey. Can't we still be friends? There you are. Jesus Christ, honey. We're looking all over town for you. Listen, Sergey, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, Sergey, I'm sorry. Get off of me. Sorry. I couldn't pass up that opportunity. That wasn't funny. Dude, I cannot let you just sleep with two women. <laughs> but seriously, what's the, um... What's the secret, huh? Seriously? And you, uh... You wanna know the key? You tell me. Always. Always your heart. <laughs> Look, just be yourself, bro. That's the key. I'm never gonna get laid. Hey. Hey. Frank, get a chance to ask you how the interview go. I got it. What? I got it. Holy shit! The only thing is that you just want to start right away. But how right away? Uh, I have to move on Saturday. What? Yeah. I'm gonna ask Michelle to move there with me. Hey! Hey! Oh, how are you doing? I'm perfect. <laughs> you too. Good. See you. Thank you. Maybe it was premature, but it all seemed so clear. It didn't matter what kind of car Michelle drove or what color. We were meant to be together. Now if I could only convince her of that. That's awesome. Any other hidden talents I should know about? Well, I could take you out back and show you some. <laughs> yeah, you wish. It's true, I do. Well, uh, I just applied for a teaching position at the elementary school. Like... A real job in Aspen. If I get it, I'll definitely be here a year. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, Rico? I'm ready. Yo, ass. Yeah. Let's go. You go ahead, girl. Woo! <sighs> 
Hold up a sec, okay? I want to talk to you about something. Sure. Um. <laughs> what? Uh, hold on. What are you doing? Wow. Where did you find this? said not to worry that it's from a new box. Lucky numero uno. Lucky numero uno. It's amazing how fast you can paint yourself into a corner when you're dazzled by the new color. I hadn't told Michelle anything about Seattle, and now I was moving there in three days. I was screwed. Thank you. So thanks for the condom. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for uh, using it, finally. Is Matt going on vacation? I don't, I don't know. He got these tickets delivered this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Matt, you got some tickets delivered here. Thanks. You going somewhere, man? Yeah. Seattle. You guys want some eggs? Sure. Seattle? Dude, what are you doing in Seattle? Well, when are you going? Uh, I'm going there on Saturday. This Saturday? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna miss Campbell and Mel's party. Dude, what are you thinking, man? That's like their 40th anniversary. Oh, yeah, seriously. Um, what are you doing in Seattle? Uh, Could we, could we talk about this later? Oh my god, you have a girlfriend? No, 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 look, 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 it is, it is nothing like that, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> then what? I, uh... What? I got a great job there. In Seattle? Yeah in Seattle, and, um, I'm moving there. On Saturday? Look, I know that it sounds bad, but... But you're moving to Seattle on Saturday. I, I just... 
I wanted, I wanted to tell you, but I just... I... You just what? You wanted to have sex with me first? Michelle, could you just hold on a sec? How is it that our dreams can seem so close to realization in one moment and then so far away in the next? Why was it so hard to just say what needed to be said? What needed to be said? But come on, look, I, I'm leaving tonight. Will you at least talk to me? I don't want to leave things like this. I am sorry I didn't tell you. I wanted to ask you to move there with me. Okay? That's why I brought the book up there. Okay, um... Okay, you got, why don't you guys go on inside and sit at our table and wait there for me. I'll be right there, okay? So what? You decided to give me a three-day notice? Sleep with me, then give me the option to pack up my life and follow you? It is not like that, okay? Then what's it like? What? What, what do you want from me? Nothing. I want nothing from you. I dug my own pit and fallen right in. I guess Campbell was trying to make me feel better when he said, we can learn from our mistakes and move on, or we can flounder in them. At least I had the Seattle job. Here's Peter. You remember him from the bakery? Hi, Peter. Hi, Sergey. Anniversary. 40 years is a long time. Yeah, 40 years ago tonight. Yeah. Hey, can you believe it? Another full moon. There was not a full moon when we got married. What? I tell the guy have his moment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> of course there was a full moon. <laughs> like I was saying. Another full moon. Oh. like a way of working out. What's the matter? Is there anything wrong? Um, 
It's just like, this isn't really how I pictured this moment. I'm gonna just hang her to me. Oh my god. This must be their daughter's cheerleading outfit. Oh, I think cheerleaders are way sexy. You know what I think is sexy? Give me that! Give me a T! Give me an R! Scared? Scared? No. No, no, I'm not scared. This is this is nothing for me. Well then why don't you show me how the cute little cheerleader will handle the big bad quarterback? Oh. What is going on? Let me get my coat. Hey girl. What's up? Oh shit. Do it to me, baby! Come on! Oh, oh, do my naughty chili to ass! Oh, baby, do that! Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Oh, a naughty cheerleader! Who's a naughty cheerleader? Who's... Yeah. Here's a guess. Uh, you're the naughty cheerleader? There's a girl in here, okay? Really? Sergey, I... I am not. <laughs> uh, you can keep the outfit. <laughs> Grady's not at a throw great party. <laughs> A stack of letters that I didn't send. I remember the light shining in your eyes when the fire lights go down and our backs against the ground. Kirsten? Staring up? Oh, hey. Um, Peter and I were just, uh, Getting to know each other. <laughs> That's great. Um, I'm gonna go. Okay. Wait, well, um, I, can I can get right home with someone if you want. It's okay, you guys stay. I'll be fine. And how high the moon is smiles when you're by my side. Hope you'll never ever take it from my life. It makes me feel like everything. Michelle, I'm sorry. You're the last person in the world I want to hurt. I really hope we can talk, but if that's not possible, and I pray it is, you'll always be in my heart. Hello? Hey. Michelle. It's Tom. Are you sleeping? No. Look, I think I left one of my ties out there. Am I still in love with you? How will I know if I don't try? How will I know if I don't try? Brilliant. Seriously, I love the whole line about the future hope versus the future fear. It's good. So, you nervous? Yeah, a little. You guys really like to throw people right in, huh? Well, we figure you're the one who gave us the heads up on Ameritrex. So you're going to be the one that lands them, right? I mean, no pressure or anything. Just the future of the company and stuff. <laughs> I guess I should have been happy. Seattle was great. Work was great. But it all seemed irrelevant now. All I could think about was Michelle. Kirsten 
Is Michelle there? Oh, hey, Matt. Um, sorry, she's at school. She doesn't want to talk to you. How could you not tell her about Seattle? She trusted you, and you... You know, she's talking about moving home for a while. Are you listening to me? Yeah, uh... I need to give her some time, okay? Okay. So no more calls? Uh... Bye, Matt. Uh, bye. Bye. Are you Matt? It's time you leave. Yeah, I'm Matt. I have to leave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, you're leaving? Uh, I have to go back to Aspen. Matt, you walk out that door, it's career suicide. Look, it's all in there, Stephanie. I went out on a limb for you, Matt. I know, and I hope I can come back, but if I don't go now, I'm never gonna know. Know what? She's my future. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? I've never felt better, Steph. I love this job, but right now, Michelle's the most important thing in my life. I have to do this. You are definitely not well. Um, you know, uh, this kind of thing can be extremely contagious. Uh, contagious? And we can't have you infecting our clients now, can we? I guess not. Why don't you call me tomorrow and let me know if you're feeling better? Okay. I mean, <clears throat> okay, sure. <laughs> Thanks, bye. When true love hits you, it overwhelms you. I was heading back to Aspen because my heart was screaming so loud I could no longer ignore it. In a sense, life was like skiing. There would always be unforeseen obstacles and pitfalls. The key was to overcome the future fear, stay on your toes and maintain balance. I knew that if I could just be with Michelle, it wouldn't matter where the path might lead. Any path with her would be the right path. Dreams don't always come true, Mother Moon told the little girl. But that's not what dreams are for. He's my ski instructor. Hey, Matt. Michelle, I am so sorry. Matt, I have a class to teach. The teacher's sick. I can't... I love you. All right, everyone, just calm down. Is he your boyfriend? No. Michelle, please, you got to listen to me. Just give me 30 seconds. You've got 10. I, uh... I got some... Brochures for some schools in Seattle. I, I thought you might. I don't need you to rescue me, Matt. I'm not trying to. Michelle, that night when I messed up at the sneaker ball, you gave me a second chance. Why? Maybe I'm a sucker for fairy tales. So am I. And I can tell you from recent personal experience, fairy tales have nothing to do with jobs or money or. I just, I want to be there for you, Michelle, wherever the there may be. Matt, I wanted to be there for you, too. That night when we were together. And then you left. You're right. And I would... Look, that day on the mountain with you was the best day of my life, and I can't imagine never feeling that good again. Matt, I can't keep doing this. Just give me one day. Then, then what? Well, if I've earned it, then you give me one more. 
And one more, and I would take the rest of my life to prove myself to you. You mean that? Yeah. Whatever comes and whatever happens. Whatever comes, whatever happens, you be there. The Ameritrex deal came through with flying colors. Stephanie felt I should be rewarded with a few days at the CEO's house in, of all places, Aspen. A few months later, Michelle moved up to Seattle to pursue her master's degree. The rest of the guys stayed in Aspen. They say they're still waiting out the economy. Campbell had been right all along, of course. There's always a simple answer, and that's to follow your heart. For when your heart is content, your life is content simple as that this mother moon chick really has got a shit together <laughs>